Yeah, good morning. I worked on this old 20 about an hour this morning. Kind of cleaned it up a little. Um, took that big pry bar and put it in there and turned it over a few times. And I got it so I can hand crank it. And, uh, does that look any better? There's the bottom side. Oh, I don't know. It looks pretty good. Kind of dirty oil pan. Well, anyhow, uh, got it. I can hand crank it over pretty good. But I still got a lot of work to do. I got to have to pull that pan and pull that sleeve, put a new O-ring on, make sure it's setting down proper so that make sure it don't leak and the clutch down here is all full of mouse nests and stuck so glad I got glad I got uh, a good clutch on the other and anyhow look at here I got, see I got the hand crank on there yeah let's see if I can turn it over here well we even just set the camera right up here and there. Now I have to watch a video here later to see what happened. Alright. Uh, well, the magnet even clicks. So maybe I can make that work. So I don't know. That's about it for F20 today. Oh, by the way, anybody need a H farm all single front wheel big wide axles heavy duty hydraulic pump there on the belt pulley shaft got one of them special cultivator hydraulic controls and uh, guy just rebuilt the engine finished it up the day before I bought it at an auction That's a 43, I guess it is. Got a steel radiator, kerosene manifold, an old rusty tag. I think it's 12 volt. The only thing that's missing is the top of the air cleaner and the bottom of the air cleaner and the gasoline starter tank. And Kinda of needs a paint job. It's good running. A lot of air hoses going too. This is a good running tractor. But I don't know, I bought it for some reason or another. Uh, anyhow, I wouldn't mind getting rid of it if somebody really wanted it. Okay, that's all for now. Oh yeah. I'm going over and try to pull that flywheel off that other engine today. See how that works. Okay, that's enough for now. <laughs>